that's my uh, uh, S, uh, SDR radio receiving point there Dave um, lovely uh, <laughs> it's a lovely screen uh, it works really well that's why I do me uh, SSTV receiving on and uh, look at the bands look at them all around here right over the top of the uh, slow scan anyway, anyway enough of that right that is my MMDVM black in the little box obviously like, that's the size of my hand so it's not that big and screen look with the bezel on it uh, don't give you much room and that is hold on let me just get the ruler just hold on a second Just get your tape measure out. So, uh, get the tape out. Right, bear with me while I'm wobbling around. Okay, look, that's a that's a four point. That's a two a, a two point four inch screen. Now, from top to bottom, from top. Bear in mind you've got a lip. You see, you've got the lip at the top. I can't hold this and do it at the same time. So just under six centimeters i'll take the ruler away so i can point my finger at it uh where's my finger there you see you got the thickness of this lip there and the thickness of the lip at the top which is a good three mil three mil there and three mil at the bottom my bezel see that's six centimeters up to the top of that and that's it to the top so you got the thickness of there and the thickness at the bottom my bezel is not very big so you don't want to be going anything under six centimeters definitely for your bezel because that's really tight because the circuit board does actually go over right so that's uh, that's mmdvm black i'll just move around the back uh i've got me um power in there switch and a uh sma output on it we'll just move over to the other side of the shack this is the MMDVM grey, as I call it. This is the one that's got the fan. This this box has got um, a calling uh, vents on the back here. It hasn't got any other top or bottom. It's just got vents on the back. So what I've done with this one, Dave, is let's move around. That grey bezel, by the way, is almost the same colour as that, but because it's been sprayed, for some reason when it's on a video, um, it, it looks a different colour. I don't know why, uh, but in the in the day in the real world, that is almost identical to that. But it must be the shape of the or the colour. It's something to do with the spray. I don't know, but I, I so these are just cardboard, Dave. Just cardboard, thick cardboard. Cut it out and sprayed it. Right, take the top off. They're basically the same. They're basically the same. So what you got to be careful is is this distance across here because you've got your Raspberry Pi well look he's fairly close up there and uh, because you've got this on here you don't want to be bending that more than uh, let's measure that again if I've got my Raspberry tape measure right just give me a second Dave right that is 160 160 across there so getting it tight up to that uh, bend on the cable you don't want to be anything more than 140 140 mil across from there to there because you've got this USB uh, dongle that sits in and you don't want to be bending that over because some pins on there you don't really want to be bending that much smaller than that um, there's my screen Dave and as you can see you see I put some packing washers behind there so the actual face of the glass is in line with the outs just flush with that so if you rubbed your finger over it uh, you wouldn't even feel the glass screen on it so that is the actual screen bolted in just use all of those nylon screws and washers uh, and the packing washers in there uh, put in that and there's my little fan it's a tiny tiny look there's my finger tiny little fan and it is blowing air between the dv mega board and uh, the uh what do you call it and the top uh, the uh, pie 
the pie, the gap is blowing air between the two. And because it's got all those aluminium uh, heat sinks on the top of the actual process, which is right underneath there, um, it's working treat. It's working absolutely great. And you really do need, and this way you've got to be careful of, when you've got the pie mounted in the bottom of the board, you have the DV Mega board on it, and then you've got a right angle. You've got to have a right angled one. If you have one that's a straight off, that's going to be right up here. And because you can't bend this very hard, and also the pie will actually rotate on there. Now, what I do with all of mine, Dave, <coughs> is I screw the spacer through, and it's arrow dieted. I leave it in situ, and then what I do is I arrow diet a big blob of. Uh, um, excuse me, uh, Araldite on the actual main board of the pie and leave it for 24 hours so it stops this twisting. Because the contacts are only up this end, there's only a few, this DV Mega board wants to pull round, it tends to twist. I have actually put some on uh, some other ones of mine, the black one and this little portable one I made, little tiny one, that's going to be even smaller soon. I'll put some contacts of Araldite into the bottom end of this board so it plugs in, it stops this board right twisting around because when you put these pigtails on, it wants to try and pull the, the DV Mega board around all the time and it'll bugger up these pins underneath here because there's only two, four, six, eight, I think it's only ten, 10 pins under there. The rest of the board's got nothing on it. Why they didn't put uh, blank GPIO pins on there, I do not know. So that's what I did with that. And so that little tiny cooling fan works. It blows air onto... Uh, underneath the gap between the two and it keeps the processor down to about 46 centigrade which is really really low so that's what I've done with that um, and all I did was so I didn't have to start screwing holes in the box I just mounted them through the air vents I haven't put any on the bottom because the bottom would mean I'd have got to drill some holes look just below the air vents and I don't want to do it I don't want to start drilling too many holes in the box now personally I think you're gonna you're gonna regret drilling that hole in the top of the box Dave I really do I really do think you're gonna regret that um, by putting an SMA socket on the back you can stick whatever you want in there you know just get an SMA to SO239 adapter uh, which I've got some in there um, you, you you can just stick them on and it will and it will work so obviously I've got those, those little power socket in and uh, it goes into the power straight into the switch butt converter and then bang straight over here Dave anyway I hope that, uh, I hope that sorts a few bits out